I'm gonna talk to you about a very hot design trend that it's been going on for a while now. You can see it in graphic design, you can see it in illustration, you can see it in art, photography, sculpture, architecture, it's everywhere and it's negative space. So what is negative space? Let me tell you a story. So when I was in design school, I had to do this project. I couldn't figure out what to do. I went for a walk and after two hours, just nothing happened. Wait a second, how could it be that there's nothing in my mind, that I actually have no idea? That itself is an idea, right? When you stop focusing on the main subject, the negative space or, or the nothing becomes the subject and that makes it more interesting. Does it make sense? Yeah. In music, for example, pauses are the lack of sound, and yet they are responsible for the rhythm. So how can you use negative space to make a cool composition? If you want to create digital art with negative space, make sure you use a program that lets you use layers and blending modes. I'm using Enlight Photofox to create this because it's a free app and it allows you to use layers, blending modes and tons of more stuff. Basically, remember, when you are creating something and you want to use this negative space, uh, just for a second, put your attention away from the main subject and try to focus on that part of the picture that is not relevant. And then you can actually start finding new cool stuff and you can create interesting material with it. So let's see what you can do with negative space. If you have any question, let us know below. Share your negative space art and let us know what you think.